Hey, good morning, good morning. It is Surviving Successful Sunday. Repeat that. Surviving Successful Sunday. Because if you're surviving, that means you're enduring. That means you have a fight to keep on pressing forward, right? The successful part is because you can survive, because you can endure, because you're pressing towards something that is attainable, something that you're reaching for, something that you're hoping for, guess what? You will be successful. Them that endure to the end, what? Shall be saved. So there's a promise to them that do not quit. There's a promise to them that do not stop doing what you're doing, okay? There's a promise to that. So we can be surviving, we can be successful at the same time. So, but one of the questions though, I want to ask you this morning is, where are you? And the reason why I asked that question is because I was reading the scripture in Matthew chapter five and chapter six, Matthew chapter, oh no, not chapter six, Matthew chapter five, Luke chapter six, right? Luke chapter 6 starts off this scripture, right, saying to them that will listen, right, which I thought was interesting because we have ears, right? We can shut them off or we can open them up, okay? They're gates that we can open and close to what we want to receive or what we want to keep out, okay? But in chapter 5, it says, pray for those that persecute you and it says love your enemies love your enemies and pray for those that persecute you why that you will be children of the father now i'm asking you where are you because that piece right there to them that are listening listen wherever you are you are placed in a position to bring the grace of god where you are, whether it's at home, whether it's on your job, in your relationship, that you don't have the strength to do. He said, pray for those. He said, love those. You can't do that in your own strength. You need the grace of God. But guess what? We can do it. That's the thing. To them that are listening, my God, that we may be the children of our Father, that we may represent who we believe in, that we may represent who we love when we love our enemies, when we pray for those that persecute us, we can represent, but it's only to them that are listening. And guess what? It's a place where we're inviting God's grace to change the atmosphere to change the people that are in the atmosphere, to bring opportunities of salvation. <laughs> he said his sun rises on the just as well as what? The unjust. What are we keeping back that we should be flowing, that it should be flowing out of us? What are we holding on to that we are to let go. Sometimes we feel like we're doing a good service by holding on and keeping back and, and staying in a position of unforgiveness or staying in a position really is, is power, a power position, you know, full of pride, feeling like because we're gonna hold on to something because somebody did something to us that it relieves us or it gives us some sense of power of control over our life, but it really just takes away from the life of Christ that he wants us to live in. Where are you? That you have the opportunity today to survive to, and to be successful, but we need to invite Jesus where we are so the grace of God can empower us in everything that we do and we can represent well. God bless you on this Sunday. Have a good one.